Hello everyone, my name is Utsav Dutt. I'm working with Cisco Attack, and today we will talk about how a radius server priority works on an iOS device. Going on to the one of my lab routers here, let me increase the font view and So if we look at the configuration right now, so we have a AAA group server radius RAD1, the name of the radius server is RAD1, where I've called in two servers, server 1 and server 2. Server 1 is defined as having an IP address of 61.9, 10.106.61.9, server 2 has 10.106.60.9. So what we will see here is that whenever we call rad1, it would follow this priority list. That is the access request will first go to server1, that's 61.9, and then it will go to 60.9. If we reverse this, it would first go to 60.9 and then 61.9. If we remove this, then it would follow 60.9, then 61.9. Let's see what we are talking about. So if we get, so what's the debug that we've enabled? So we've just enabled debug radius. If I do a test triple A group radius one, a fake username and a password followed with legacy command you will see it got access rejected certainly because I did not use the correct credentials so you would see here that the access requests are going to 61.9 now 61.9 is radius server 1 right here so you would say that okay fine radius server 1 was configured first in rate 1 so that's why access requests are going to 61.9 if I reverse this configuration it should go to 60.9 Let's quickly do that. Uh, we'll go inside this and I'll quickly remove server one and put it back. So if I do uh, now check the radius server config. So you have 60.9 and 61.9. So 60.9 is the server on which the access request should now go. If I clear it for you and I do a 60. Uh, the access uh, rejects are now going to 60.9 right why access requests are going to 60.9 because server 2 are conf is configured first in this radius server group configuration command we follow that right so now if we remove or rather instead of removing I do a test AAA with just normal radius keyword then it would not take up the server group configuration it would take up the configuration that's there in global configuration so it would obviously send to 60.9 first so right here so if we again put this configuration first then it will send the request to 61.9 how let me quickly do that for you and and, and show you so uh, let me remove this right and put it back so it, the configuration now is something like this 61.9 so it should first send the request to 61.9 when i use the normal radius test triple a command so it's again sent into 61.9 the moment i send or choose my group server it will send to first two which server server 2 or server 1 the cases are right server 2 and server 2 is 60.9 again sends to 60.9 right here this one right so we we are all seeing access rejects for now so let me quickly show you one access accept so I'll use something that I configured on server so it's successfully authenticated and it's again sending to 60.9. So this type of scenario is generally used by ISPs where they want to send the 
the access requests from one domain to one group of servers from another domain to another group of servers right so in in this way we can actually segregate the the uh, the uh, traffic the triple a traffic the access request from the clients to different servers or where we have multiple servers and we want to define the priority or the active or the backup scenarios so in this way we understand that on which servers the requests will reach thank you for watching and i hope this will help us all thanks